for 10 years you are waiting for these people they are saying our government will buy for us the government is not paying ah bring Maybe back our land <laughs> 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 Finally, 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 the AU is pushing for the removal of sanctions that were imposed by EU and the United States on Zimbabwe. And I just remembered Robert Mugabe, the former president of uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Mm. He was ousted some years back, and uh, before then, there was a lot of propaganda that was passed by the Western media. And, and a lot of people, most of us fell for it. Yeah, we, we fell, fell yeah. for it, and we hated Robert Mugabe mm -hmm. only for what he did. Mm -hmm. These sanctions emanated from the land policy which he implemented mm -hmm. Dur during colonization. These people came and took our land. Mm -hmm. They pushed us into villages and open air prisons, and we would only get some few times of uh, going farming. In farming in those lands which were not appealing to them. Then, when they left, they continued owning these lands. And all the governments of Africa who, who were colonized had to buy back this land in Zimbabwe, in South Africa, in Kenya. They had to buy back this land. And prices stipulated by the foreign market. Exactly. And uh, most of the, for example, in Kenya, the president of Kenya, the then president, Jammu Kenyatta, had to, do, to take loans from Britain to pay these people. You remember the story of Haiti, in which the people of Haiti had to take loans from France so that they can pay the French okay. farmers, okay. you know, and they are still paying up to today reparations. It's the same thing. Even Africans had to pay for reparations. Even Zimbabweans today I pay for... Pay. for pay for reparation yeah. but Robert Mugabe in about 1980 said we are going to affect our policy which said that we uh, we are will be allowing a willing buyer willing seller so those who are selling can sell the land mm -hmm. but Do they you, you know like only that uh, you need to sell this land or buy it mm. as a white person so you can buy but now what happened is people while waiting for the uh, British government to buy their lands. Like you're sitting on a land that you stole mm. and you want your government to, uh, to buy for you. So there was even a delay of the implementation of this policy for about 10 years. And when it came that Robert Mugabe could not wait for another time. And the people, it, the, even the Zimbabweans themselves, yeah? Didn't have land, mm. remember that. And they, were, they got tired of waiting. Yeah. For 10 years you are waiting for these people, they are saying our government will buy for us, the mm. government is not paying. Ah, bring they back our it. land. <laughs> 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 so he took the land that he gave to the people. And, and, and Mugabe backed them, you know, the government. Yeah, the government Mugabe backed them. Supported. And you know the problem with the uh, with, uh, propagandists is they kept saying that the people of Zimbabwe are not uh, able to farm those lands because there were massive tracts of land. Eh? But there was a time I saw people saying that people actually continue farming. Not able to farm. Do you know what they were st the reason that they were made to pay mm -hmm. was because they were saying that after you took my land, mm -hmm. I did some. After after I took this land, I built dams, Who asked water, you? you know, I bought tractors. And I remember at some point, because they, they wanted to cripple this government completely, mm -hmm. They even uh, sabotaged the farms and they tried to ship the machinery out of Zimbabwe mm -hmm. in, the, in the night, in the darkness of the night, so that the, the farmers who come in will not be able to, to farm. Eh? Mm -hmm. And that is where the problems of Zimbabwe started, because they were sanctioned and uh, these sanctions have been eating them. We r remember comparing the dollar, the American dollar to the Zimbabwean dollar and would saying that would be saying that people in Zimbabwe carry money on wheelbarrows just to go buy bread. Right. It was that crazy. And the problem with these sanctions is most African countries do not produce 
most of the things that we use mm. laptops computers uh, even something. machines mm. uh, water supplying things you know even oil mm. fuel eh? we don't we don't produce it eh? and not that nigeria or gabon or angola or libya do not produce oil mm -hmm. or because we cannot do this but because i think we were crippled and now our leaders think we cannot do it for ourselves so they have to ship and you see if these things are coming from the us or the uk or even china but inside that thing there's a part that is coming from these countries which have sanctioned you you will not be able to ship this product because it has something which you have already been sanctioned yeah yeah don't so it it became a problem actually mm -hmm. been seen people saying that south africa has helped zimbabwe a lot mm -hmm. because i think south africa and mozambique eh, you ship then you you yeah, it comes in through so it's zimbabwe. like i'm shipping it's but it's for yeah. it's for zimbabwe i'm not very sure guys from uh, this country zimbabwe south africa and mozambique can let us know mm -hmm. But we've seen a lot of leaders calling for the end of these sanctions. And uh, here is a letter written by the AUC chairperson, that is the AU Commission chairperson, Musafaki, to these countries, to these entities which sanctioned Zimbabwe. So the letter says, AUC chairperson statement in support of lifting of all sanctions against the Republic of Zimbabwe. 25 October 2023, Addis Ababa, the chairperson of the African Union Commission, Musafaki Mahamat, once again renews the, the long-standing AU demand for the immediate and unconditional lifting of sanctions imposed against institutions and individuals of the Republic of Zimbabwe. And in full support of the Southern African Development Community, SADAC, position on the issue, the chairperson wishes to acknowledge subsequent engagement with the European Union through political dialogue as encouraging. In this regard, the chairperson encourages all parties to continue dialogue with a view to end all remaining sanctions against Zimbabwe. The chairperson, however, remains extremely concerned by the negative impact the sanctions continue to have on Zimbabwe's social economic development and social economic development amid the current global food and energy crisis, including the post-COVID-19 re recovery efforts. The chairperson reaffirms the continued commitment of the African Union to support the broader nation of Zimbabwe in mobilizing efforts for the complete lifting of all remaining sanctions. In this regard, the African Union associates itself with the statement made by President Huao Konkaus Lorenko, President of the Republic of Angola and current chairperson of SADAC on the subject. If this brotherly gesture that we've been seeing is most African countries calling on the end of the, the sanctions. Mm -hmm. But guys, remember, last year, that is 2022, Russia was also san sanctioned. Mm -hmm. But has Russia died? No, suffered, honestly. It hasn't suffered. No. Not like we can say Zimbabwe has suffered. No. No. Do you know why? Because of sel being self-sufficient. Can't Africa be self-sufficient? Can't we make our own things? Such that if they were to sanction any of us, we, we still the yeah. country would still continue. Yeah, you know? we will be buffered by the the rest of Africa. Exactly, like what no. South Africa and Mozambique has been doing in the past years. And Zimbabwe. can't Africa realign with countries that are like China that are will not be putting sanctions on you? You know why realign with those people? Do you know if you realign with this other side and you decide? You are just going to move on, just like Russia. Mm -hmm. You just you won't even feel yeah. the effects of this uh, stupid sanction. Exactly. So, so they sanctioned me. So, so we cannot what buy. To cry? We cannot buy vehicles. I don't know. I'll from produce where. my own. Exactly. Know? That's what even we we saw even Russia uh, airline. They were saying that it won't make it because they have to source spare parts from mm -hmm. the likes of. Uh, Rolls Royce, mm. and we were like, we saw the plane flying to South Africa <laughs> with all the sanctions. <laughs> yeah, and what makes sanctions. me very angry about these Zimbabwean sanctions is that these are Africans who you came, stole their land, mm -hmm. and then 
now that they are taking matters into their own hands, you feel like, no, they shouldn't. Yeah. We, we will deal with you guys for so doing that. The, 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 the thing that should anger us is seeing the AU or ECOWAS sanctioning Burkina Faso and Niger for taking their stand and saying we are tired we are taking of this. Back our we are taking back our country. That's crazy. But we understand that people who are in these, uh, who are, who are in these uh, organizations are the same people who are who who may be to, yeah they are puppets yeah so they cannot condemn their fellow puppets because they are also in the same and they are people they don't want the people to to oust them but now my big problem is our leaders our heroes have always been saying africa unite even bob marley sang africa unite why are we uniting if we unite do you know zimbabwe produces copper and gold but this gold is being stolen by multinationals. Oh, man, Zimbabwe. So that country needs... You know? But if Africa can unite, maybe if South Africa is the one producing or processing gold, Zimbabwe can be shipping its raw materials and paying some small fee and producing that. Kenya or Uganda is the one processing coffee. We sell together. Yes. Burkina Faso, Niger is the one producing uranium producing power and selling to other African countries. You see, it can become very good if we united and did something together. But you will see us as a country like um, Rwanda or Burundi wants to sell its raw materials abroad, then they buy some things abroad mm -hmm. alone. But what would happen if we came together and said we Africans are together? If it's buying things, if it's selling things, we are together. We have a common voice. It's greed, it's yeah. selfishness, it's, it's leaders who are not there for their people but for themselves. They can never have the goals or the dreams that we mm. Africans aspire for our continent. So unless and until we have people like Ibrahim Traoré who are doing things for the population. Yeah. If you hear the, the, I don't know if I can call it manifesto of this AES states, everything is revolving around the yeah, population, people. And, our and people. That is why they have created AES. Because they have realized that you cannot fight terrorists alone. Guys, let us know what you think about these crazy sanctions that have been ongoing in Zimbabwe for 21 years. Yeah, but what we need is self-sufficient as Africa. Self-sufficiency. That will be our main, 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 main target. And the way Zimbabwe is beautiful. And these people came and took everything. If you see the, the houses that belong to these white people in mm -hmm. Zimbabwe, they have acres and acres of yeah, land, yeah, beautiful yeah. farms, be you know, it's like it's their own country and they are just a small population of Zimbabwe. No, man. In fact, they should be and, uh, taken And even of South country. Africa. As Africa. South Africa actually has been singing. Malema has been singing about this land yeah, reforms and the land uh, policy. They need to be implemented. But do you know they have the same policies like the ones Zimbabwe had? Yeah. Only that. They are scared of this. They will be sanctioned. Like if Zimbabwe. they take back the land. Yeah, if they do take back. Mm. But this needs to be done because tracts of l land owned by White the minority settlers. settlers and the people of South Africa don't mm. have their own land. You know, it's crazy. Oh, man. But uh, it's up to you guys. It's up to your government to do what they want. We can only talk. But <laughs> let us know what you think in the comment section. Yeah, lip service. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye bye. bye.